Welcome back everyone to more in the infinite space. Alright, let's get rolling. We're in the Bear Guild. Talk to the commanding officer. And let's get this show on the road. Oh. Man, those freaks are here too. A large crowd of aid assists, aid assists, yeah, are passing silently by FSN headquarters. Man, these guys pop up everywhere, don't they? Kind of like cockroaches or something. Well, something like 1.2% of everyone in the Galactic Federation is an aid assist. Aid assist. So, that doesn't sound like much, but out of the entire population, it's a pretty hefty number. Sanctum Norbert Weimer are waiting for Yuri at Galactic Defense Headquarters. They both look pale and nervous as if all the blood is drained from their faces. Well, I heard the Lugovalian invasion has finally started. Yes, Admiral Kao's fleet, which is tasked with guarding, the void gate has already been wiped out. And the enemy shows no sign of slowing down. They've already broken through the gate at the Gibraltar sector. What's wrong with you guys? Are you guys just let them walk all over you like that? At this rate, it won't be long until they strike the Aragonan sector. Which puts them right in our front yard. The interplanetary assembly members are shaking in their boots. <laughs> it took you long enough. I guess it takes a good old fashioned fear to put you polit the politicos to face the facts, huh? Just admit it. You guys had no idea what you were up against, did you? Uh, yes, well, I suppose you've got me there. You should have tired, Mr. Weimer. Yes, well, these assembly polit politicians can be a rather skittish bunch. And dealing with them can be quite exhausting. The moment they realized the terrible might of the Lugavalian Empire, they immediately went into a blind panic. Most of them began clamoring for a diplomatic solution. Now I'm trying to get them to unite behind a military plan we can all agree on. There's no way diplomacy would work. I mean, if it did, you think the SMC would have fallen like that? <laughs> no, you're absolutely right. Your enemy commander, one Sicilius Maponos Lugos, was approaching was approached with the idea, but he flat out refused to negotiate. Did you say Seco? Seco's leading the invasion fleet? Yes, the Lugavalian Crown Prince himself. Hmm. So Seiko's in charge, is he? Yuri, are you really going to go up against Seiko? Of course. If he's the one leading the invasion, I, I don't exactly have a choice in the matter. But he was your friend. I mean, we sailed the Sea of Stars together. Yeah, I know. That's exactly why I have to do everything in my power to stop him. I see. Where's the enemy now? They've just taken the planet Endora in the Gibraltar sector. But they seem to be halting their advance for now. No doubt they want to secure their position before using it as a springboard to these surrounding sectors. A careful approach, huh? It'll be harder to deal with them if they just keep rushing at his head headlong. How do you plan on countering this? Admiral Norton of Libertas is forming a defensive line, sensors on the planet Oz and the Gibraltar sector. Then, as soon as the coalition fleet has been assembled, if you have a plan on setting them there, it's fair. I just hope they're all set to go up against Lugavallos. Lugavallos may have brushed off our plans for negotiations, but we still plan on exploring our possible diplomatic solutions. I know we're probably wasting our time here, but as politicians, we have to keep doing what we're elected to do. Now, Captain. The current situation is just as I explained, but unfortunately another vexing problem has arisen. We're already under attack by Lugo Valos. What else could go wrong? Plenty, I'm afraid. Have you heard of Severo, Severio Zanetti, chairman of the Orsino Foundation? Yes. Was he the one who provided the Yard 2 to orders? That's right. If you lost track of him after the Battle of Hinwald, that is up until now. His ship was recently spotted heading towards 
the Lugavalian fleet in the Gibraltar sector. What do you think he's up to now? No likelihood. He intends to surrender the Orsino Foundation's technology to Lugavalos as a sort of peace offering. He's gonna do what? What a douchebag. Are we gonna just let him get away with that? Not if I can help it. We need your help, Captain. I want you to overtake his and destroy his ship before it reaches Little Valley and head space. What about Admiral Norton's fleet? They've already deployed. They could probably intercept him. I'd like to keep this Lumatassian fleet out of this if we can. If any of their rank and file crew members got wind of this situation, if you fear word of it could spread like wildfire. And that would no doubt put a punishing blow to the morale of the other Galactic Federation member nations. You mean you're worried that some nations may switch sides? I say that it would be a distinct possibility. Hmm. All right, we'll do it. My apologies, Captain. It seems that I'm always pressing the riskiest duties upon you and your crew. It's fine by me. In fact, I'd rather you keep giving me the tough jobs since I know I can handle them. I don't like that attitude, Yuri. Keep it up. I head immediately for Oz in the Gibraltar sector. She's just past the Ar Gora Argoron sector. And will Norton be able to fill you in on the details? They ain't frontline headquarters. Alright. We. Oui. Oh, and Captain. I heard you rescued one of our lieutenant commanders, one Sigmund Hoffman. Who? You know, Yeri, that guy on the fancy prototype ship we... Oh, right, you mean the captain of the Spore. Exactly. Thanks to you, the trial on that prototype ship was a success. Moreover, we were able to recover the data of the Impact Point Convergence Control System. This is for you, if you're interested. Ooh, a new battleship. All data we collect on this ship will be used to improve the capital ship we're developing to capture the Lugavarian fleet. If you are able to mass produce this new ship, it will go a long way towards defeating the enemy. You read out this thanks to the Lugger Sanct and leave the war room. Let's go check her out. Oh, let's go talk to uh, Lennox. Okay, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Grab a drink here. Ah, okay. Going up. Spore class battleship. Oh, cutscene time. Give me an update on enemy movements. Yes, your highness. It seems they've can reform their la defensive lines centered on the Oz system. <laughs> Wimps. Turtling up, are they? Just makes it easier for us to solidify our foothold, so I can't complain too much. Oh! You seen any sight of him yet? You mean the one called Yuri? No reporting sighting so far. Yeah. The heck is he waiting for? Your Highness seems rather interested in this Yuri character. I heard that you once traveled with him. Something happened that made you begrudge him. Huh? For a moment, Seiko looks stunned by Kendrick Coyle's question. But the next moment, he bursts out laughing. <laughs> I get it now. So you think I got a grudge against Yuri, huh? That's hilarious. <laughs> so you would say otherwise, then? Dang right I would. I mean, you got it all wrong, Coyle. I actually, actually kind of like the guy. I see. Yeah, and that's why I want to crush him. I want to destroy him with everything I have. Does make any sense to you? I think I understand now. Coyle well, replies, but he doesn't sound the least bit satisfied for or convinced. In fact, he looks plain puzzled. Zico responds to this with another hearty laugh, but... Doesn't continue trying to explain. It's a bro thing, bro. Alright, let's see. How do I get to the Argon sector? I don't even know where this is at. Oh crap, wait, hold on. Back it up. Let's blow these guys out of the water really quick. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay. 
forgot. We gotta check out the battleship. Hey, Franny leveled up. Nice. Whoops. Wrong way. There's a shipyard. Okay. Where is Spore? It. So the cruiser's the one I'm running right now. Uh, let's see. I'm sure there's something about this thing, like maybe you can launch fighters or something. Probably is what those little bays down here are. It's not bad. I mean, honestly, I mean, it's not an empty ship. It's not as fast. For five grand cheaper, it's got a lot more crew. Yeah, this definitely has a launcher on it. I guarantee that thing can launch fighters. So, not bad. Not bad. I think the cruiser's better, though. All right, let's get going here. Yeah, not a bad little ship we unlocked there. But we're just saving money. Oh, we're going. Here we go. We're on. We're on route now. I don't think we've ever been here before, so let's start exploring. So if this goes up before then, I just finished recording Ring of Red. Um, and for all anybody checking stuff out, I have revitalized, revitalized my channel basically with that game. Uh, ooh, a nebula. So the channel's going way better. I know not many people are interested in this game. It's fine, it's whatever. I enjoy this game. Space exploration, all that. But I think I'm going to be really strictly working with mech stuff. I do plan on doing something with Battletech before long. There's a mod that needs to be downloaded for it to actually do right. Uh, basically it's Battletech Advanced 20 or 30, 36 or something like that. I've been watching the Black Pants Legion play at Tex over there. Guy, he's freaking hilarious. Uh, I, I can't say enough to check that out. His channel and everything. They do a lot of Battletech stuff uh, in detail. And I've actually started like learning about the lore of Battletech. And my gosh, that's some good stuff. So, but I do have a new LP coming up here. I'm going to be starting very, very soon of a series that is very... It's starting to become really like uh, near and dear to me. And it's, it's one of the first like, little breakout things. And actually, I looked it up. I'm not spawning anything. I'm going to be doing more front mission. And holy crap. Like, front mission 3, I think I've got like the only like full playthrough of that game on YouTube. I highly recommend checking that out. I went above and beyond on that one. But front mission 3 has got some amazingly good, fun game mechanics to it that the other Front Mission series so far that I've played don't have. Like, I like the first one was okay. Uh, four, pretty good. But, uh, I haven't played really much of the other strategy ones. Uh, Evolved was a very good Armored Core clone. But the, the single player mission structure was balls. Uh, and Left Alive has some of the best mech combat I have ever experienced in a game outside of Steel Battalion. The problem was the on-foot stuff was... It was meh. At best, it was meh. I mean, when a shotgun is your stealth weapon, your game ain't that good. Alright, back to infinite space. But I check... I definitely want to try to play Left Alive again, like on my own time. And mess around with it again and just see if I can do better at it or something. But I freaking love the mech combat again. That was the best part about it. I don't believe it. Who boy.
The gang's all here. Whoa, Libertrust really is awesome. I mean, look at how big this fleet is. They still have this much strength left over? We didn't touch much of it. Yeah, but the question is, is even in, is even this going to be enough to hold back Luke Valance if they come at his full force? Oz. Alright, what do we got here? Ooh, ship company. What do we have? Liberty. Bastion 2. Liberty class cruiser. That looks cool. I'm going to buy them just because. Go to the bar, get drunk. This sector was just as peaceful as it could be until just recently. If somebody would have told me that a war that started in the SMC would make it all the way here, I would have said they were crazy. This is it. It's finally time to butt heads with Lugavalos. Yuri. Don't worry, Kira. Master Gan's plan has proven right so far. The LMC isn't going to suffer the same fate as the SMC. If you say so. You think I'm gonna go chicken or out of, I think I'm gonna chicken out or nothing. But it's like I can't stop shaking, you know? I've experienced firsthand what it's like to be overrun by Luca Vallis once before. It just shows you're human. Yeah, maybe so. But we ain't little runs no more. We got a more we got more know how now. Let's make them wish they never let us get away those ten years back. What do you say, man? Count me in on it, Toro. Okay. Shut up, please. To HQ. As Yuri and company head to the frontline headquarters, they are met by an officer they have never seen before. Captain, I am William Horton, Commander Norton's adjutant. He ordered me to attend to your needs while he's out at the front organizing our defenses. Delivering his greeting in an extremely formal tone, Horton gives them a per pitch, picture perfect salute. I hear that Chairman Zanetti is on his way to rendezvous with the local Valians. That's right. Please take a look at this. This shows the current situation in the Gibraltar sector. They're currently establishing a line of defense from Zahn to Bolog. With our center of operations on Oz. Meanwhile, the local Valians have temporarily halted their advance. Well, we've obtained intel that they're currently building Bases of operations of Durang and Endora. Okay. And Zanetti's ship? We received word that his ship, the Zanetti, has passed Bulldog. What a douchebag. He calls his ship after himself. And is now heading toward Luca Valley in held space. Unfortunately, he has already shifted to inertial navigation. It makes it impossible to track his ship. We're still conducting patrols, but we keep coming up empty-handed. That must mean that Zanetti's maintaining inertial navigation except for when making slight adjustments to his heading. Hey, but look at it this way. If they ain't traveling at warp speed, they can't be all that far away yet. That's true. You still have a chance to catch them before they enter the Valley controlled space. Okay, we'll go after them right away. Alright, but please be careful. There's a good chance you may encounter enemy scout ships out there. You can freaking bring it. If today he reaches an enemy held sector, we won't be able to lay we won't, we won't be able to lay a finger on him. Please do whatever you can to capture his ship before then. Okay. Let's go check out our two new ships. There's a destroyer and a cruiser. Liberty. So that is that. I mean, the Gluck up here. It's terrible. So then we have the. So that one. Was it this one? It wasn't the Bastion. It was the Sights. Definitely not Scory. I don't know which one it was. It was Bastion 2. I think that's what it was. 
Anyway, it all junk. Alright, moving on. Well, let's get out there and get after him. Over to planet Anon. Captain, <coughs> do not leave a trace of our passage, understand? Yes, sir. We're going to return to an inertial navigation as soon as we pass through. Anon's gravitational sphere. Excellent. Let's just keep it nice and quiet until we can rendezvous with Prince Zico. Chairman Zanetti, do you really intend to surrender to Lugavalos? Need I remind you of your of our slogan? Giving wings to zero-g dogs everywhere, so that they may fly anywhere. And to that end, we must always select the best possible partner for us, do you understand? Yes, sir. We get to add on. Let's go over here. Check this out. Anything? Nope. Alright, moving on. Here, push in. Okay. Ooh, there's a module. There are modules here. Toss bridge, the air, mess, sick, training, stadium. Stadium? What? Bartender? I had my wife and kids evacuate to my wife's parents' home over on Greymouth. I really wanted to get out of here too, but I was so worried about my tavern. I just couldn't bear to leave it behind. You idiot. Are you that bunch from the Tuppets? Do me a favor, would you? Go over there. Way over there. Orders Chairman Daniel Evans was my hero. I don't want to drink anywhere near the likes of you. Well, when you look at you, seems you're pretty worked up. You've worked your way up, Chief Petty Officer Benajo. Hmm? Ah, is that you, Dr. Andreas? Mm-hmm, it's me. The surgeon of your aper appendectomy so long ago. I still remember how scared you were about such a simple procedure. I don't think I've ever seen a man sob like that. Please, Doc. Not in front of everyone. It's got to have his pride, you know. Heh. <laughs> I'm just saying. Anyway, Panajo, you were a skilled navigator, if I recall correctly. True, but what does that have to do with anything? I'd like to you to give our crew some pointers, if you would. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, why should I... No, I get it. So, when you were begging me not to tell anyone about how you messed with yourself... Oh, okay, okay, I'll do it. Just let me know who I have to teach, jeez. That's better. All right, Captain, suck someone from the nav crew. Uh... Thomas. Hmm. Nice work, Bonajo. <laughs> Thanks, Doug. And here's a little reward for you to thank you for next for your time. It's one of my favorite things, actually. What? Really? One of your favorite things, eh? Let me see. Let me see. Here you go. It's medicated compress. It's great for sore or stiff muscles. Uh, um... Bonaggio looks dumbfounded as he accepts the medicated compress from Anastasia Andreas. He slowly lowers his head to look at it in obvious disappointment. Wah, wah. It's unlucky I'm not a Dr. Andreas as your ship's physician. The doctor on our ship is this really decrepit, crutchy old man. <laughs> so unfair. Alright, depart. Alright, what have we got over here? Are you that special prisoner? You know, the one they call Yuri. You are? Well, I keep seeing you on the news, but I have to say you look much better in person. Taller or something. I wish things were different. It would have been nice to have you spend some quality drink time drinking here. 
Uh, please come visit us again after you've driven those no good local volumes back to wherever they came from. My name's Duncan. I left Anon in a big rush when the Lugavalis attacked, but I got separated from my girlfriend at Spaceport. What am I going to do now? I hope she's alright. Not my problem. Because you're dumb. Whew. Okay, hold up. Wait a minute. Let's go over here. We need to find all the money. Oh, and all the nebulas. Sorry, a nebula. I don't need any fame, I just need money. Nothing. Because I was grinding money, and then I ended up with fame. Stop is that plan, right? We're pretty much at a stopping point, so I have to pull over. And we'll save it here. So next time on Infinite Space, we're gonna go after that sniveling coward. Later.